All right, Orin, here's the pond. You can see that little peninsula there. The collar is right in there underwater, that little shallow part, but there's like four yards of concrete there. And then we have this spillway. The, the, the pipe's too tall, it needs to be cut, but we're just kind of waiting till we get the leaks repaired uh, in that collar. If you listen real close, you can hear it draining inside that pipe. And then here's the concrete spillway that goes down here. And you can sort of see at the bottom of this uh, where it's just steadily draining. You can see it there and hear it. So I'm gonna go in here and see what it looks like. Last time we were in here, there was a water moccasin in there. Yeah, you can see right there, if you look down in here, where it's bubbling out right there. Oh, it's probably like 35, 40 feet in there. Uh, it's right before it turns up, you can see the sunlight coming in there. So it's just a tight squeeze in here. Uh, to get to it. So I'm going to go up in there and get you some video uh, up close. Hey Paul, you see this pipe is uh, already mending right here with all that weight of the dam on it. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I hope it's done mending. Okay. Well, here we are. You can see we put some tar and stuff down here. You can see the leak in there. You can see that big leak. And then, uh, it looks like that up there. And so we have kind of this tar stuff up there. You can see this little leak right there. And then if it comes down. And so what I'm thinking is, we cut some of that metal from the top of this pipe that's sticking above that we don't need and shimmy up where we, not shimmy, but well both sides of it where we create a big thing right here. This is right where that collar's at. There's a collar that puts the two pieces of pipe together. You can see the angle's not perfect, so it's gonna require a fair amount of welding to get both sides of that all cleaned up and looking good. So anyway, I hope that helped Orin and get a good idea of what we need to do here.